bed. Yeah, I feel you. We gotta determine. Wait. One, two, three, and a four. I think the yellow stars are making up one of the posters. <gasps> You hear it fucking shake. There's like nowhere, like nowhere safe in this house. What the fuck? What the fuck? Where are we now? Up to the right, okay. And do. Chillin' man. Good, good. Glad to hear. Oops. Fucking shit. Okay. Up. Oh, another one. We've got two. Fuck. Oh, God damn it. You son of a. All right. Uh -uh. I think. I think I'm good. I think I'm ready to start this. Um, let's, uh. Oh, God. Still fucking hurts. Oh, wait. <clears throat> Nine more of those. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm so glad you're here. You gotta have a balance of all sorts. The H oh. in Jesus H Christ stands for Hubus Tank because Jesus died for a reason and the reason is you. Why ban him? <laughs> no, don't actually. God damn it, Jerry. <laughs> ah. You're awful. I hate it. I hate it so much. Oh, can't open anything in here. Nothing of concern in these rooms. I don't know why I'm walking through them. Hoping I find a key card or something. Oh, just the echo scared the fuck out of me. Come on. Who the fuck did that? Fuck you, demonic, you son of a bitch. Oh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> I'll right, we'll go back outside. I'm gonna check the doors again, the windows. Oh my God! <gasps> It's a fucking Yes, that's good. Sorry. Okay. Yeah.
Oh, all right, so we need to get this door open. Or, I'm sorry, the elevator going. That. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Holy shit! Fuck you, buddy. Woo. Hope all is well. I hope the bussy blast off is going well. <laughs> Witch, but not like a pretty white witch, like a scary, like scary like white creepy witch. So she's a hot, she's a hobgoblin with makeup. Yeah. Bam! Look at her titties. Makeup, so even she what looks the like fuck Gollum was that? Right now. She does look like Gollum. Look at that freaking Gollum. Oh, oh, looks oh, that oh, big. Fuck this tree. is the first time we got a lady. Oh, God. I can't take this anymore. Hey, that makes two of us. I fucking hate this. Um, wrong saying they say they can have a blow when used properly, all the somewhat come get bigger. I wasn't ready for that. You think you're so smart. I'm very smart. Oh! I will eat your soul, Chess. Oh, fuck me. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Fifteen, but can make more. Can't even fucking drink it. Oh, Liz, you know, same old. Just chilling, playing some uh, some fun games. Yo, oh, oh, fuck. Okay, crouch under here. Fair enough. Fucking shit. I don't like that. I don't want to run. I'm running. Oh my god! Hi, Fry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How's everyone doing? Hope Moe's doing well, hanging out in bed, feeling a little tipsy. Fry's, uh... Hi, Fry. <laughs> Fry's doing her th usual introductory things. <clears throat> and Twy's just hiding in the shadows. Appearing ever so briefly. And suddenly, Mo drunk and cozy and snugly feeling great. There's some good vibes. 
I th- what is the what do the kids say nowadays? I fucks with that. Is that a thing? Or am I completely incorrect in that? I'm here. Sorry, playing game. Thank you for the sub the other day, right? Oh, <laughs> you allowed to go and play a game? It's fine. I was just talking shit. <laughs> I'm not really talking shit. I'm just like, this is probably where Twy is right now. Anywho. Uh, so hope you're all doing well. Um, today was a pretty decent Tuesday. Um, the rest of my week, uh, starting with tomorrow, because tomorrow I have a lot of, a lot more scheduled calls than I typically have to handle, both work and personal. And... So it's gonna be a busy day, but it's gonna be a good day. And and uh then we're gonna have stream tomorrow night, playing more dead space. Uh no dead space tonight though. So if you're here for dead space, well, hold on to your horses. We got a fun show tonight. Uh tonight's gonna be a, a demos driven night. Uh we are starting off with the Cecil the Journey Begins. Uh so this demo, which it did it still kind of baffles me. Um if anything. It's an interesting PR move just to get people to talk. And I think that's if that's what they're going for, then they fucking nailed it because <laughs> people are talking. Uh, this demo is not available uh, at all. So uh, you have to you had to have signed up for uh, this demo, I guess, um, a couple months back. And I did. And I thought, oh, okay, it's probably like a beta or something, just using the term demo. You know, it's fine, it's whatever. And uh, and it was legitimately a demo. Uh, but uh, you can't you can't go to the Steam page and go download it like any other demo. Uh, it's not on itch. It's not on any of the zillion fucking launchers that are out there. Uh, however, here comes the good news. I have two keys. I got two extra keys on top of my own to give away. And uh, you're here for jugs, of course. <laughs> um, so we're going to be doing a giveaway. Um, I think we'll do one at the start and then one at the end. So you don't win in the first go. Don't feel bad. Have another chance. And to that... Cheers to you all. The Hannah Colada is rocking tonight. It's been really gross uh, weather out, so I'm just pretending like it's just the middle of summer. I should be drinking Oktoberfest and Mertzins and Red Ales and all this other shit, and I'm like, nah, I'm drinking these fucking sours. <laughs> so, anywho... Cheers to you all. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so outside of uh, the Cecil, the journey begins. We are also uh, going to be tackling a few other demos. Um, one of which is a puppet combo one. It might be Torture Star, but it's essentially puppet combo. Uh, cozy drinking time? Hell yeah. Oh, so... Yeah, that's that's us tonight. We got the demos. We got the two giveaways for the Cecil. Um, and then, uh, yeah, more Dead Space tomorrow. Hoping, uh, I think we're going to be able to beat it tomorrow. I think. So we're going to have, we're like halfway through chapter two. Or we're in the midst of chapter, I'm sorry, chapter 10. Two. We're in the midst of chapter 10. And there's a total of 12 chapters. So I figure, okay. 10 is going to be a long one. 11 is going to be basically like leading up to this last like area. And then 12 is going to be you getting to the final boss, whatever it happens to be. I was also being a bad influence on Polish and voice earlier. Oh God. He doesn't need any more bad influences that do not. Oh no. Mo, what did you do? <laughs> uh. As we wrote what dreams I'll have after Dead Space finale. Had weird ones last night, too. Holy shit. Fry, should we continue and do the second one? <laughs> Just smoking. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no boozing. I was going to say, he doesn't, um... He's not much of a drinker anymore. When I first met him, he was... He would be a boozing. 
vodka sloppy all my own. Nice. <laughs> um. <coughs> uh. I think of what else. I have. Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Okay. I forgot to set this up beforehand. So give me a second. I'm, uh. Hopefully it's not going to be super bright. I wanted to give a sneak peek uh, into one of the new merch items. I just want to make sure I get to them. Do, do, do. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is the one I wanted to show. I was kind of excited for this one. It's it's awesome and funny at the same time. Um, you fold full image there we go and maximize the screen it is very fucking bright actually i wish this was on a different background here god that's horrible Ugh. okay maybe i can Love of God. If I just take just the part I want, it'll be a lot less white to deal with, I think. Maybe? No? Didn't really work that well. Fuck. Everything is always bright. Anyways. I'll just put this fucking thing up here. All right. Come check this out. This is the uh, the first official new item on the Jug Merch website, jugmerch.com. And it will go live with the other 11 new merch items as of October 1st, the start of Jugtober. Here it is. Look at that shit. It is amazing and hilarious at the same time. Now you can looks like you're drinking out of my mouth. <laughs> so yeah, this little doodad uh, will be part of the new collection. Oh, I rotate shots here. Oh yeah. Look at that. Hopefully the glass doesn't look like that though. <laughs> Thank you, Fry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is uh one of the things i've been working on um i'm excited for it to be honest <laughs> uh like it i don't i i will admit i don't have i want to take you to a gay bar i want to take you to a gay bar i want to take you to a gay bar gay bar gay bar <laughs> satan that's bait. <laughs> oh, how's it going, my friend? Um, so yeah, the all the new merch items. Um, I, I'm. It's a lot of other logos that you've already have, just on things that didn't really exist before. Um, I honestly just haven't come up with any good ideas for new images or stuff like that. But I think um. I think I'm going to take some time and I may come up with something, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. 12 items is a lot though. Maybe we'll do a different, a different day for that. Hmm. I just actually had a great fucking idea. Okay, how did I forget that one last night? I don't know. Between between you and Die Trump Die, there was a lot of it. <laughs> um. So yeah. Anywho, why don't we do this? Uh, 
Why don't we do the giveaway, huh? Excuse me. So for those that are, are just finding their way in, um, we're playing the Cecil, the Journey Begins, uh, the demo. This demo is not publicly available. It's only by uh, e invites. There's no real sign up for it anywhere at the moment. However, I have two keys to give out. So if you want to check out this game, um, don't go anywhere. Because we are going to have a nice little mosh pit. Come on. Open. Oh, that took forever. Oh, god damn. Everything is so goddamn fucking bright. Actually, that's pretty cool. All right. Um, so let me make sure I have the keys here. Yep. Okay, they're exactly where I left them. Good. That's always a good thing. It's a good start. <laughs> uh, so the way that this is going to work, uh, if you haven't done the King of the Pit style giveaways here on Twitch, um, so there's going to be a big mosh pit. If you want to be in this mosh pit, um, you would have to do, there's going to be a chat command you have to run. It should be exclamation dance, I believe. Don't worry, you don't have to do it right now. There'll be a little automated thing that jumps in there and tells you and all that. Um, and all you have to do is hit that command and it enters your name in and you get one of the, uh, the pit, pit masters in there dancing around. Uh, during the mosh pit, you can use exclamation bottle and there'll be random bottles thrown into the mosh pit. If they hit somebody, it's actually health off of the person. It's pretty funny. Um, and, uh, the last one standing wins the key. That's all there is to it. So I'm just going to make sure I get it all configured properly. <laughs> Hello, Father. Welcome in. This is for everybody. Uh, it's to be a minute and a half. And I don't want to touch any of that. That's good. Okay. Let's fucking mosh, eh? Hola. Alright, so everyone, exclamation point dance in the chat right now. For a free... Demo key giveaway, exclamation point, dance. We got one, die Trump dies in there. Sugar's in there. What game? Uh, this is the Cecil, the journey begins. I need to do that. <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah, you cannot get this, uh, this demo anywhere. We only have two keys to give and that's it. They have not publicly released the demo. But, you know. Your buddy got the hookups, okay? <laughs> Sugar, how are you doing? Hope all is well. Alright, we got four people in here. We got Die Trump Die. We got Sugar. We got Mo. We got Twi. Oh, Satan's in there. That's five. Who else we got in there? It says there's nine viewers in here. Where are the other four of you? You got 50 seconds. Less than 50 seconds. Exclamation point dance. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's going to be these five dancing for that free game. <laughs> 30 seconds. And make, don't forget everybody, get on your clipboard ready to go, exclamation point bottle, B-O-T-T-L-E, so you can throw bottles from the crowd into the mosh pit. Spam the fuck out of it. <laughs> Chill out to doing work all damn day, I feel that. I'm glad you're doing good otherwise. Thank you for, uh, for being part of tonight. And that's part of your chilling. All right, get those bottles ready. Here we go. Of course. <laughs> the music slows down as it starts. Greatest mosh pit ever. <laughs> oh, there goes down one, two. 
Oh, it's just Mo or Twy. Mo wins. Mo is our winner. Holy shit. That that was like a fucking house of cards at the end. There was a lot of bottles. Good job, everybody. <laughs> Mo, let me uh let me send you one right now. <sighs> Excuse me. I'll DM it to you on Discord. <clears throat> Slide on in. And there you are. So I hope you uh hope you enjoy the game. Hope I enjoyed the game. Hey, Gang Beast? No. <laughs> uh are you asking if I have Gang Beast? I think I might. Letting them DMs. Yeah. You're, hey, you're welcome. Congrats. Um this is uh on behalf of the Genie Interactive Games, the creators of The Cecil the Journey Begins. Uh, I signed up, just wanted to be a part of the early access, knowing, knowing that a demo was going to be coming out. Um, and uh, I had no idea there was going to be extra keys attached to that to give to the mob. So I'm obviously very happy to uh, provide that to some of you when, where I can. Have a fun stream, man. No, you. Thanks, Ginger. Hope you have a good night, dude. Um... So, we've talked about the schedule. I showed you something from the upcoming Jugtober merch release. And we did a giveaway. There's one more giveaway left. Um, we'll do it at the end of the demo. So don't go anywhere. I mean, you know, I guess if Mo wants to go away, she already got... I'm kidding. <laughs> this is this a copy of Gang Beast or something? No. It's a copy of the game we're about to play. The Cecil the Journey Begins. It's a, just a demo. And how are you, demon? <clears throat> There's no more bottles. <laughs> and who throws bottles at a sleep show? What is this? Uh, anywho, let's go play, eh? I want to check this game out. I've been hearing some interesting things about it. Oh wait, no, no, I take it back. I owe you all a spin. Let's do it. Wow, this is good karma. Karma in, karma out, let's do it, come on. Thank you, thank you, I'll, I'll accept that. That is a, that is a fair trade. Thank you. This is going to hurt because it's hot, but at least it tastes good and I'll be happy. Kind of. I hit the wrong button. There we go. <sighs> yes, we want nut. Sorry, Satan. No nut tonight. Another you know break from One Piece? There's a th over a thousand episodes of One Piece? Wow. Um, oh, yeah, I got a <laughs> more beer. <laughs> Uh That's it. One piece started back when I was into anime and that's crazy. Wow. Is it like the Simpsons of anime or something? I'm very very ignorant to anime i know very fucking little i watched most of akira when i was like 12 <laughs> that's, that's that's about it it's as far as i got oh and, and i guess doki doki literature club if you want to count that <laughs> remember seeing this new series in new type wow you need help <laughs> hey if you like a show you like a show binge watching tv shows Man, I used to get no sleep when Breaking Bad was around. That was like the first TV series in a long time that I was really into. And I found it right as season four ended, I guess. And I got seasons one through four done like a month before season five started. But like every couple of nights, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to watch a couple episodes. And I watched two and I'm like, time to go to bed. And the way like that second episode would end, they're like, hey, come watch another. I'm like, ugh. Why would you leave me on a cliffhanger? Watching like 20 to 40 episodes today? Holy shit, dude. 
2001, 2003. Gotcha. <laughs> Honestly, want to get an anime, I recommend One Piece or Dragon Ball or Attack. Oh, see, Attack on Titan, my brother really likes. Um, and he recommended it highly for me to watch. Maybe it'll be something. Uh, Dragon Ball, um, I watched the cartoon as a kid for a bit, but, uh, I lost interest in it. I don't think it was for me. And then, I think, do they do a live-action One Piece series now? Is that on Netflix? I feel like I saw that recently. And then Laser mentioned it, too. I'm gonna be sad a lot is ending soon. Oof. Alright, anywho, let's move forward with the hot sauce that I owe. It's the Bahan Star from our good old Gonzo Sauce. <clears throat> so this one is a three out of three hot. Not very hot, but it's hot. This one's got dill pepper mash, carrots, onion, horseradish root, mustard, vinegar, and spices. These dill peppers, oh, brother. The guy sitting next to me looked at my screen in horror. Or cyber attack on an airplane, and it was blat <laughs> batshit fantastic. They did a live action Attack on Titan. I didn't even know that. Okay. All right. Let's uh let's do it. Hmm? There it is. Oh. That horseradish prepares you for the fucking tsunami wave that comes in of heat. Wow. That's good shit. A bunch of Chile del Ar... Chile del Arbol? Arbol? I'm, I'm sorry. I fuck up every goddamn foreign language. Which is a real small hot pepper. Instead of making hot sauce with it. Ooh. That sounds good. If you do, I need to know what it is. How how it well how it tastes. I know what it is. You just told me. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Shit. <clears throat> yeah. Exactly, sugar. <laughs> That's where that face came from. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was one of the jelly beans, one of the, the spicy jelly beans I had for a while. Oh, those are awful. They tasted like shit, and they burned so bad. <laughs> like this, this hot sauce here was all flavor, then all heat, but the heat never gets past, like, really tingling your lips and like the back of your tongue into your throat, that area. But yeah, most like the, the lips. Yeah, it's not my thing, but I mostly eat anything that looks good. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's spicy foods are not for everybody, obviously. Just like uh, this band, this band Sleep. I fucking love this shit. I've tried to show this band to people before. I'm like, you like Black Sabbath? You'd love this band. And they're like, don't wonder they call it sleep. I'm bored. <laughs> so, anywho. PTSD is hitting now? Jesus. Sleep fucking rules. Hell yeah. What's up, Polish? Welcome in, dude. <laughs> the headset slip gets me every time. How you doing, man? Have you ever seen Sleep Live before? Have we seen them together? I know I've been with Jeff to see them once. I don't think I went with you. But uh, whenever they get, if they do end up coming back, highly recommend. He was getting in that clip. <laughs> we have not. Damn, highly recommend. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will say it's weird when um not this song in particular, but there are other songs where there'll be like a pit and I'm like 
just doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, some of their a couple tracks off the first album, I'm like, okay, I can see it. But like when it's one that doesn't make sense, it's kind of weird. Besides that, it's a fucking journey. Uh, yes, I've done that. One, two, three, four. Either four, no. Yeah, it's either four or five times now. Yes. To rob out of life. Oh, it's so good. The first time I saw them, they played the first 20 to 25 minutes of Dope Smoker. The Fire State Make Them Suffer is my favorite band out of the ones I haven't heard of before. Oh, really? Word. They were like that second or third wave of deathcore bands. I think I already moved on from that subgenre in terms of like... I mean, like, I obviously would listen to stuff, but I was kind of like, all right, I've had enough. Um, but I remember hearing one of their songs, and it wasn't bad. So they must execute well, which is good. And it's been a, a long time since I was first shown them. So... I'm not sure which song you listened to or what album or what year or whatever, but that's good. Working out and prep for the pits. Getting my endurance up. Yeah. <laughs> I actually started working out again. Um, not entirely because of a show coming up, but the fact that like um, I fell off the wagon this year big time. So I want to get back on top of shit. Um, so I started uh, a week ago. Uh, almost two weeks ago now, I think. Yeah, almost two weeks. Uh, I mean, obviously, it's like I'm in fucking amazing shape after a few workouts, but I just put on Dose Smoker. The song is over an hour long. What the fuck? Hell yeah. <laughs> this is the... When Die Trump Die, me and my brother went to go see Black Sabbath's final show. Um, I don't even remember who the fuck opened. It, I honestly don't. Oh, you know, it was, it was Refused. I'm pretty sure it was Refused. And it's like, they're not a bad band. Not even a bad live band. Uh, but it didn't make sense. It was like, all right, you could have picked fucking Wind Hand. You could have picked Sleep. You could have picked Electric Wizard. You could have picked... Fucking weed eater. Like, there's so many choices. <laughs> like, honky shit. We're telling me that's a typo. That's hilarious. We should look a little closer. I'd totally be your gym bud. When I was in the Marines, my max bench is 325. My lord. Lost a lot of muscle. That makes sense, though. I think you meant holy shit. Nice. Avatar. Oh, yeah. You found Avatar today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's some honky shit. <laughs> Best typo ever. <laughs> Demons out here busting the funniest fucking jokes ever, and it's a typo. I love it. Okay. Um, it's time to play now. That hot sauce finally fucking wore off. That was whew, getting swole from my hockey. <laughs> Rough doggy. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't be throwing that shit in chat. <laughs> no. I have some kinks that I want to like share yeah, with you, so there. we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pad. Nox, you still owe me a fucking video for your entrance. Um, I'm gonna give you until tomorrow. Uh, no, but end of night tonight. Get me something, or I'm gonna pick something. <laughs> Thanks, Demon. You could bench 175 pounds, squat 265. Damn, dude. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Bench 280 with help. Hell yeah. Oh. oh, I'm like, what the hell is this noise? That I never shut the goddamn music off. Okay. A lot of help. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So, as mentioned, 
uh, we're going to be playing the Cecil. The journey begins. The Cecil is actually a it's a hotel in um, I want to say it's Los Angeles. I watched a documentary on this a, uh, a while back, a couple of years ago. Um, and a lot of shady shit happened at this fucking hotel, like a lot of unsolved stuff. And then, um, uh, was it Richard, Ram uh, Richard Ramirez, is that his name? He was the, uh, with, uh, shit, what was it? Night, Sla Night Slasher? I can't remember. Someone's going to correct me in chat, I'm pretty sure. Um, Night Stalker, thank you. Thank you, Fry. Felt like a T-Rex, strong legs, weedy arms. <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. Uh, so yes, yeah, so there's uh, there, there's obviously a, some truth to the location in this game. Um, curious what the story will bring, if it's going to be based on the actual events that it happened here, or if this is more so just like um, taking that and, and running wild with it. Either way, I'm cool. Just curious. Built for legs and arms. I build everything because I need it all. My God. Okay. Restoring. I hit new game. How did we end up in this hell? Cunnilingus is an oral sex act involving Sarah a person stimulating the vulva of another by using the tongue and lips. The, the clitoris is the most sexually sensitive part what of the, the human fuck? female genitalia, and its stimulation may result in a woman mind. becoming sexually See, aroused or achieving it's orgasm. A bit old fashioned, but charming in its own way. We never expected Why? it to be like this. After we checked in, we went up to our room. <laughs> the timing. Everything seemed fine at first. We unpacked, talked about what we wanted to do during our stay, but, but then we the heard Lord's strange work. noises coming from the hallway. It sounded like we just learned that in hell. something <laughs> was out there. I went to check it out, leaving Sarah in the room, and that's when it all went wrong. Next the more you know. G.I. <laughs> I, I have no idea how I got here or how long I've been trapped. And Sarah, <coughs> she's missing. I don't know where she is, but I have to find her. Alright, I gotta get serious. It's a hard game. This isn't comedy. These walls have eyes. Is this the Hills Have Eyes sequel? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, no. Sounds like my marriage. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> it could be both. I gotta get out of this place. Yeah, I think. All right, so uh, we're suddenly in a jail cell. Okay, so typical move, pause menu, inventory, equip items one through five. I can wheels, uh, move the wheels for next item and all that. Run, crouch, uptake, reload, use direct fire. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. Been way too long. 5, 10, Let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, wait. Why did he stop at three there and three down here? And three right there. What are we counting here? There's another three over here. Does this person understand tally marks? I need to know this now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 88, 91, 94, 97 days. Oh, I'm assuming his days. 97. Thank you. Oh. oh. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Anywho. What, what's with these cuffs? That's the... Okay. 
I thought I was like taking them. I'm like, all right, cool. There's only a put back button. It's clogged. Lovely. <laughs> Don't they want more Deadpool games? Jigsaw? No, not Jigsaw. The love of my life. Sarah. Hey, look. A device consisting of a rubber cup on a long handle used to clear blocked pipes by means of water pressure. Well. We're learning something today. Do I have to select it? Uh, oh, use. Okay. Toilet has been unclogged. Let's go. Where's the floater? Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> Stop looking at my third draw <laughs> <laughs> the rusty chisel. I hope this isn't the third drawer. <laughs> the rusty chisel is a durable and rugged tool designed for chipping away at hard surfaces. The chisel is made with a wooden handle for a comfortable grip and a rusted metal head for maximum strength. <laughs> Rust on the metal gives it a vintage look and it gives the chisel a certain character. Okay. So can I use it on this? Might be able to. You know, I could use anything else. Ooh. Someone's watching me. Did that say aperture? It does say aperture. What the fuck? Yo, are they rolling the the fucking portal lore into this? That's fucking wild. I can't use anything on it, so I can't even like not much I can do with it. I have a chisel. This doesn't work here. Okay. What was that idea? Can't use the chisel anywhere here. Can't do anything with that. Where am I chiseling? Damn it. Is that in the Urban Dictionary? Rusty chisel? <laughs> <laughs> it might. If not, we need it. Uh, do I go straight down? Oh, no, that's just up there. Okay. Oh, damn it. And I can't do anything with this. Just look at it and put it back. Oh! Found it! Hello! I sit alone in this cold, dark cell. The only sound, the constant drip of water echoing through the halls. The walls are made of stone and the door is thick and heavy, <laughs> locked with a key that's just always out of reach. But I will not give up hope. There we go, I will yeah. Not let the cell be my tomb. I have nothing but time, and I will use it to my advantage. I will craft a tool, a weapon to aid in my escape. With nothing but a small piece of metal and my own determination, I begin to fashion a crude tool. Day after day, I work tirelessly, honing and shaping it until it becomes sharp and strong. I will use this tool to pick the lock, to break the chains that bind me. But as the days pass, I cannot shake the feeling of being watched. I can hear whispers in the darkness, a sinister laughter that seems to come from the very walls themselves. I fear that I am not alone in the cell, but there is something far more sinister lurking in the shadows. But I will not let fear defeat me. I will use this tool and escape this prison, no matter what horrors I may face. I will not rest until I am free. Well, all right. Where did this guy get a typewriter to write this letter? Um, well, I, it's either that's an ink blot at the bottom, or he had really bad diarrhea and he drew with that. Take your pick. Time is nothing if not use. Okay. Uh, or try one of these. Rusty motor chisel tooth. Dick chisel. <laughs> I picked diarrhea. <laughs> well, have at it. Oh. 
The weird tool is a versatile and unique tool that features a sharp pointed tip for precision cutting and piercing. Deep design allows it to easily open and, ac and access small, tight spaces, such as holes and bolts that may be rigged or difficult to access with traditional tools. So, I would call this a shiv. This will do the trick. This will do the trick. Hell yeah, Will. We're getting the fuck out of here. Excusez-moi. Now. I can't pick up any of that. Okay. Um... Creepy, the eyes are missing. Did XQC steal them? <laughs> you have a weird tool. Finally, murder. Ten people, all missing from this hotel. What happened to them? <laughs> Call Crime Stoppers with any tips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. I'll be right on it. So we have Emily Thompson disappeared after checking into a secluded hotel deep in the woods. Michael James found dead in his hotel room with a strange symbol carved into the wall. Ashley Rodriguez murdered in her hotel room by an unseen entity with no signs of fourth century. Jessica Brown vanished from her hotel room with only blood stains left behind. Brian Walker died in a mysterious fire that broke out in his hotel room. Samantha Davis suffocated in her sleep with no explanation for how the attacker entered the locked room. David Adams, attacked by a monster that appeared from the shadows in his hotel room. Lauren Baker, strangled to death by an unknown assailant in her hotel room with the door still locked from the inside. Brian Clark, found dead in the hotel basement with no explanation for his death. Katie Lee, dragged out of her hotel room by a mysterious force never to be seen again. So none of them are the ones that I watched in the documentary, so I think those may just be some lore to bring into the game. Not necessarily what happened. With love, our Cecil Hotel guest... I'm again, hotel manager Rebecca Cole. His cousin really ought to be the kick. But how do you know the contents? I wrote it. I wrote it. Why, I had no idea you were his cousin, too. I just need to keep. Oh, wait. Mr. Conklin's cousin is still my hospital hope. I can't use my cool tool. Where we were married. You see, I damn it. This strange shape. Okay, so a little dagger. Court me all over again. Well, Dr. Gene Zimmers, born December 8, 1956. This expires date. That was only four years later. What if he is behind all of this? Fuck rich people. So everyone is dead with... That means your wife probably dead? What are we talking about? I don't think that's what's going on here at all. We haven't learned what happened yet. Fucking Christ. Hi, Candy. This isn't VR sweatpants stream. <laughs> wow. Everyone go follow Candy Marsh. Even though she's not innocent. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to click away. Come on. No. What happened to the, the lock pick I had? Vamoose! No signal. What's this? It's unusual, but this might prove useful later on. A very special thing to collect. A fucking robotic penguin. I mean, I'm just coming handy. Boy, robot collectible. Okay, well, I mean, I was going to take it anyways. Well, 
Your wife called and asked me if I'd drop it off. She thought it might be important. It's from your cousin. Katie, how are things? Perfect delivery. My third one. Goodness, I haven't heard from my cousin in five years. The last time she wrote me, her letter contained extremely bad news. I gotta figure out what the fuck is going on here. Can't read any of that. I mean, that's that's Italy. Must be terrible news, huh? It looks like Italy. Simply dreadful, huh? Horrible. Can't read that. Really can't read that. This says, "Call it re." That's all I got. There's nothing else in here, is there? Didn't see anything else around here. Can't jump. Do I have to close the door? You must remarry at once. Turn to work as always. Hell yeah. Oh, now I can move it? It didn't let me do that before. Ooh. Looks like some sort of poisonous injection. I can't take that to defend myself if someone comes running at me. There we go. Back just bounced off the fucking chair. I don't want to fucking break the damn thing from jumping backward. Okay. Well, I'll check everything else over here. Looks like some sort of voodoo doll. Well, someone's not having a good day. Time will only tell. I mean, I guess. Mr. Conklin, at least don't do it in the presence of Mrs. Davis. Why not, Miss Davis? The way things stand, oh. she's the only one left who might marry me. Okay, so this is, we know that one of the hands has to be on the three. Pointing it, it's actually pointing that way. Why is the pause screen also scary? Because that's how we ro roll around here. It's gotta be in the three o'clock hour somewhere. I'd have to say. Yeah, three. I didn't even have to. I just did. All I did was click on it. But yeah, the fact that it was on the three. Oh. A wooden paintbrush is a tool used in art and crafting, typically for applying paint to a surface. Typically? What else do you use this for? <laughs> the handle of the brush is made from sturdy... Don't answer that. Smooth wood, which provides a comfortable grip for the user. The bristles of the brush are made from natural fibers, such as horsehair or boar bristle. They're carefully arranged to create a, ta uh, a tapered, tapered, tapered tip that holds paint and distributes it even. About to offer suggestions, grip your smooth wood. <laughs> Put this back over here. Okay. What the fuck did I just find? What did I just do? What is it, flu? Virus? Did, was this door locked before? Is that what that was? It must have been that. Okay. I had to have done something. I heard something click over here. 
Unless it was right here. Oh. The drawer popped open for me. A bowl of hot chili. Got it. Used to poke the ghost eye, Obs. <laughs> there we go. It's time to find Sarah. Chapter One: Uninvited Guest. Okay. Or the lobby. Got it. Damn it. Oh, if I had a goddamn flashlight or something. I could turn some lights on in this place. Hello? Is anybody in here? Huh? The fuck was that? It's not rich people shit. It's uh it's just a hotel. Do I dare do that? New item? Ooh. Room 203. Oh. There it is. Los Angeles. Cecil Hotel. Popular priced hotel of distinction. Which it wasn't. <laughs> or at least it was to begin with. And it, uh... Then it wasn't. that way uh, I figured can't check it too dark oh okay interesting do I have to ring the bell there's no other choices well Good evening, esteemed guests. Welcome to the reunioned Cecil Hotel. We hope you are comfortable. Not we anymore. We understand that the world outside can be a frightening place and that you've chosen to stay with us for a safe getaway. As you settle in, Please remember to lock your doors and windows. Enjoy your stay at the Cecil Hotel. Ah, and remember, curiosity killed the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat. Okay. <laughs> what was that voice? Oh, hey, I found the fucking light switch. Awesome. Love to see it. Shit's still fucking locked, though. At least I could check upstairs now. With, uh, that guy. Checking that door last. That's where the sound came from. This is creepy. East Wing. That. Statue's holding something. That's a big ass key. 
I guess I had to push it with something. Yeah, with the toy robot, it'll push it over. Why did that punch out like four times? I'm sorry, Rez. Hello, Rez. Welcome in, Rez. Uh, thanks for the lurk, Father. <laughs> Helping streamers. This looks interesting. Yeah, so far, so good. Odd. Maintenance. Why did it... What's the purpose of that? That's kind of weird. All right, so we one of those two doors over here. Really wants me to sub, I guess. <laughs> Damn. They need to consume more hot sauce. No. Not what Fries said. Bad what Fries said. This. That's like scared, and that's like sad or just disgusted. <laughs> the fuck? I didn't think that would work there, but I wanted to give it a shot. Maybe there's stuff on the first floor that's accessible now that wasn't before. Like a telephone? It's dead. Never fucking mind. Um. The old map is tattered and worn. It has been through countless journeys before. Parchment damaged with age, showing 12 doors in a circular formation. As I examine the map more closely, I notice that certain doors have a strange question mark on them. Was if they hold some sort of secret or hidden meaning. Okay. East wing, west wing. First floor, second floor. Can I take that, please? Thank you. That seems helpful. Dank, what's up? Yeah, happy birthday, Candy. <laughs> you people all suffer some family shit. Beat demo uh, boss for Liza P. Volume, so I can't wait for the game to come out now. Uh, yeah, if you have Game Pass, it's going to be on there. I, I know of that. That's locked now, too. That's less than ideal. <clears throat> Pretty sure all the doors are locked. Oh boy. Resting. Shut it, Chunks. <laughs> I don't know. We're not trolling, Rez. How dare you make such accusations? I was hoping that uh, this would bring either an achievement or someone to come yell at me and jump scare. It's not. Watch Lux first time I played on set, even though 72 hour access means it should be releasing Friday. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Rush 306 has Letics, go there. Yeah, thank you. Don't you pig snort your way out of this? I'm like 48 hours, but still can't wait for it. For reals, man. <clears throat> okay. Oh! Memories. That's it? What in the absolute shit am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> Did I try? Never told I'm just wishing you a happy early and late B day. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cynthia, Hi. welcome in. 
Hello, friend. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the bits. Walk right into the trap. We tried this on this door. I'm gonna have to try everything. Oh, nice. See, I was crazy. Spent the last of my B day money. Let's have a play. It's only two hours before game pass. There you go. Never a trap, just a cunning plan. <laughs> okay. As expected, that wasn't gonna work. Fucking hell. Sounds like good money spending. So, I can't find any more items. And the doors are locked. I knew that wasn't going to work, but you know. None of the portraits have been selectable. The only thing they added on here. You get my prime this month. 15 months of fucking prime love from Noxler. Thanks, bud. Appreciate those Bezos bucks. Okay, well, now that I know we're missing a, a, a key here, that's something else. I couldn't select that earlier. Now that wants to open. Receptionist appears to harbor some ominous secrets. I must unravel what lies beneath. I have to focus to read it. It is no longer safe here. The lobby, once a refuge of warmth and welcome, now hosts an eerie silence that chills the bone. Shadows seem to move on their own accord, and the whispers are not just in my head, are they? In fear for our guests and ourselves, I've taken it upon myself to secure the key that unlocks the hallway to the rooms. Can't risk it falling into the wrong hands. I've hidden it well. Go in a way where only the most observant eyes will find it. But I beg you, if you find this note, tread carefully. There's something terribly, terribly wrong in this place. As if the hotel itself is watching. I have some kinks that I want to like share with you, so we can like do these things. I'm okay, and they're like, I have a foot pad. <clears throat> Only the most observant eyes will find it. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's that. Did I have to find that note first to be able to push this or something? Probably what it was. You're gonna save some of that meat for me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, demonic? Dirty liar. On tracks. The fuck is that? There's a switch somewhere. We're back. I'm hungry. Gonna go make instant ramen. Hell yeah! Enjoy your ramen. Hope it's awesome. We'll see you soon, Candy. Demonic, it's going well, man. Um, stuck in the fucking main lobby of this hotel. I'll find it out eventually. I need to go. Only <sighs> a keen eye would find it. Well, I'm looking for it, other than what's up there, but something else must be amiss. Or I need to find something to help.
Make sure you stretch out those creamy oh, hamstrings. Nice. Oh, I'm trying to stay away from new games, but I'm excited. I wanted to see how much I die. <laughs> nice. Oh, thank you for the stretch, Res. Please leave packages. Okay, leave them where? Right down there. They pull them in. I can't go backwards from the door you came in on. So that sucks. Oh my god. Really? Wait. Oh, that's just a... I thought that was a key. <laughs> oh, like, this is where they hit it? It's like, no, it's just the... Call it the chandelier, like, switch for the light, I guess. Or it's just part of it. Who knows? Either way, I have no fucking clue where this key is. Oh. Didn't know I could do that. There's a couple other vases around here I've seen. Oh, but this one doesn't do it, though? Son of a bitch. I swear to God, if you're the only one that does it, and you're fucking empty, you're gonna be pissed. Okay. Nothing in that one. All right. I need to search every vase. Motherfucker, what do you think I'm doing? This vase wasn't letting me do it before. Now it is. Leave a golden key attached to a key ring grants you access to the hotel rooms area. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to put this on a wish list. Did I miss the giveaway? Um, there is one. He has gone so far. Uh, baked potato won it. But uh, after I'm done with the demo. We'll have another giveaway. Creepy. I mean, it's just a kid. It's gonna be creepy, I know. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting how this demo was via um ease only. Welcome, John. <laughs> I Expecting you. Holy fuck! What the hell is that? I almost fucking fell out of my fucking seat. Holy shit! Yeah, I almost I couldn't find my fucking mouse. Oh, nice res. Good to hear. Now, I don't have a giveaway command or anything for it. What we end up doing is um, we play what's called um, King of the Pit, and it's uh, it's all automated in chat. And you just join, and you become one of the dancers in the mosh pit. Okay. What does he want from me? I don't know, but... Oh, God damn it. Or not. Mosh became yeah, yeah. Tried to get out of bed. I'm upright again. Nice. I always lose that, but it cool. <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe today's your lucky day. And uh, which key do I have again? Oh, it's right there. Two o three. So I'm on the wrong floor. Awesome. We'll see if anyone forgot to lock their doors though. Fire alarms. Nothing else in here, though. Anything special on the statue? No? Okay. Easy up to the second floor. What's this? Hotel renovation alert limited. Accessibility in some areas. Third floor. Okay. 
Okay. There's something wrong with the third floor is what they're telling me. Elevator shaft way. Okay. So again, I have 203. 201. 202. Hello, 203. Kind of nice. Said so this game coming out soon, but you got early access. Yes. So um, they had a sign up uh, period for people that wanted to play the demo when they were done with it. And we all got keys for it, plus two extra to give away. The demo itself is not available on any launcher anywhere. Something needs to be placed here. Okay. This guy? Nope. That'd have been pretty fun. Ah. Storage supply room. My room findings. Room 103. Discovered a torn page from a ritual book with mysterious symbols. Room 202. Found a locked drawer with a cryptic code etched on its surface. Room 301. Uncovered a hidden compartment containing a partially burnt map. I found a crowbar and a guest bag. Room 402. I found a bloodstained note hinting at a hidden passage. I didn't touch it. Yuck. Room 501. Discovered? I can't say. I took the crowbar I found in the guest bag in room 301 to the supply room for safety purposes. Okay. The supply room will have a crowbar. Good to know. Yeah, I thought it was really cool that we got one. Let alone two. No prescription bottle for pain. I wonder how often this was used. Hydrocodone. Biartrate? Bi Bitartrate? What is this? Oh, it's Vicodin. <laughs> Damn. It was taking that good, good. I'll go in that bloody bathroom in a second. I saw that. Photograph's missing the other half. This is strange, isn't it? Down the wall here? No? First safe voice message. Hey there, it's me. I hope you're holding up okay. Listen, I've got something important to tell you. I stumbled upon a clue that might just be our ticket out of this nightmare. <clears throat> you know that painting, The Last Supper? Well, it turns out it holds a secret, but you'll need to shed some light on it. Make sure the light faces the painting, and you'll reveal a hidden path. Uh, follow that path, and who knows, it might just lead us to freedom. But... Interesting. Thing, Olivia. Dr. Zimmer's looking around, always watching, always scared guard up, stay sharp, eh, and don't let him catch you. We're in this together, and we'll get through it. I believe in you. Stay safe, my friend. End of messages. Interesting. So we have to shine a light onto the picture of the Last Supper. Loose concealed within the Last Supper painting in the ballroom, which, when illuminated, is said to uncover a hidden secret. They serve as our key to freedom. However, Olivia's whereabouts are currently unknown and something quite peculiar is unfolding. But where is the ballroom? Uh. Who knows? Okay. Go check the bathroom now. Jammed. <laughs> We shall see, John. We shall see. Does that mean he's here? Do I have to fucking hide? It's just him just walking by and going through a different hallway, maybe, I guess. Okay. Whew. All right, that was only surprise, Only slightly terrifying. Problem is, is I got to find other fucking keys. 
but they can't go on to the third floor. Here's a restroom, which is locked. Everything is locked. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night. Hey, Dragon. Good seeing you, man. Hope you're doing well. Enjoy, um, enjoy your One Piece episodes. And uh, get a good night's sleep. Now, let's talk to you soon, bud. Try using the elevator. Like, I'm pressing E. Why? Hello? What the fuck? Why isn't this open? Maybe that's stuck. I gotta find some other item to, un to get it open or something. And the axe would help us with chopping the wood up on the third floor. I think if the pain would fit in one of those holes and it solved the issue. I know. I was hoping so bad. Like, I just take the toy and throw it at it? No. Oh, whoops. Can't do anything with it. I can't give it a thing. Legit everything is fucking locked. I don't have anything new in terms of stuff. If anything, I'm short a key card now because I used it. Where the fuck do I go? Yeah, I know. I get that too. There's so many different places I have to get to, or puzzles I have to solve, but no one's. There's nothing here that's helpful. Assuming the axe is going to work on that, too. Anything different? No. Okay. Then again, where do you need to find key for gate, but then next gate, that was very similar. He just body slammed and destroyed it. Like, dude, really? You can do that for all doors and gates, then? <laughs> Wish I had something to push that thing over with. That's the same thing, it hasn't changed. Oh, fuck. Gotta be something I haven't noticed yet. Axe. Already checked all the door. All the doors are locked. That's confirmed. You still have nothing. You're not hiding anything back there. I can just gain access to the safety box. Oh. I just saw that. Out of the kindness of his heart, he just dropped that key. I've used it to break down things in my way. Didn't like that. Alright, so before we do this, I want to check out the maintenance room. I want to see if I can knock it down with the, uh, 
axe because it's got some wood on it and it like it says it can use an item on it. Damn it. All right, well, that's okay. I know where 100% is used then. Gonna go, this is the first floor. Go up to the second floor. Then we go up to the third floor. Boom. And that's it for the axe. One time use. This is good. We're discovering more. And no surprise at all. All the doors are locked. This hotel is really big on security. I, I appreciate that and I feel much safer. Even their restrooms are fucking locked. We're locked. Have to be quiet. This is where the crowbar is. Be quiet. Oh, check in list. Weird object. Dot dot dot. Profit. Crowbar. Note from Sweet 608. Bullets from 5 1. Lockbox found at front desk. Device missing four parts. Check ins must be stored and door must stay locked. That's interesting. There's the crowbar. Head back to Olivia's room. I take that with me. I need to get in there. Okay. So unlock it. Fucking kid. Son of a bitch. I don't know where Olivia's room is. My memory says, oh, that's that. Okay. Doesn't changed. Das, what's up? How you doing, friend? I can't get out of here. Okay, there we go. Hope you're doing well. Have you played this yet? <clears throat> I have to be quiet here. I forgot someone taking to uh taking their time in the office, if you know what I mean, up ahead. I haven't heard Johnny's in it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Is it good so far? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It has a survival horror feel to it, like find items to keep moving to other areas, do puzzles in strange orders so that you could later solve a bigger puzzle type thing. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, it's very much like every door is locked. Like, I can't even get it. I don't know how to get into the elevator. I don't know if that's a glitch or something, but <laughs> everything is locked up. Unless you find particular keys. For now, I need to go to Olivia's room, wherever that is. Hey, okay, I don't know where to use the crowbar. I use it on this. Use a crowbar on the door. Door? This might work. Damn it. Uh, maintenance, maintenance. That might work. Where do I use it? Do I use it at this thing? Oh, wait. 
Nope. Fuck. Uh, this thing? Fuck. I'm assuming not this one either. Nope. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuckity fuck. Who's on the phone? I'm about to anyways. I don't know who Olivia, what, what Olivia's room is. So weird. Do I try in every fucking door in here? This can't be fucking sustainable. Unless, oh, unless it works here. Fucking hell, dude. We could say to go back to Olivia's room, it said. I, I don't know where Olivia's room is. And these are rooms, so. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm doing this right. Really hope I am. Sorry, everybody, for uh, fucking this up a bit. Oops. At least I'm trying. Can't say I didn't try. It's the storage room. That's locked. I can't use the crowbar on it. We've already tried. Okay. Not there. And not there. The crowbar has to be used on a door outside of the room's area. Resting. We'll make our way all the way back down. Step by step. Okay. Now from here, there's other doors we can try. this here already but I figured I'd do it again this is outrageous there's got to be a door this is works on somewhere and I already tried you yep
Oh, this is not good, everybody. Fuck, I don't know where this crowbar is supposed to be used. I'll check every fucking pic uh, every portrait that's on the wall. Be certain. I can use the crowbar on this. Jesus. Talk about the storage room and everything. No connections I had, but back. Doing pretty good. Uh, I haven't made much progress because I found this crowbar. And it said to go back to Olivia's room, and I have no idea where Olivia's room is. And I've checked every single door in the hotel that's currently accessible to us. Yeah, I'm really, uh... At a loss for this one. I'm checking all the, uh, the portraits now. Everything about that. Gosh, sounds like game watching killing Olivia. Shame on the game. No, I think we're trying to break into a room. Because that's where she was. It said to go back to her room. I have no idea what her number was. And you would think this would work, but it doesn't. And you axe the door. The axe is already gone. You, you use it once, then it goes away. Why is she facing the wall? Can't rotate you or anything either. That's really strange. Oh, yeah, Odang is right. This one is facing the right way again. Really strange. And this one is also, well, 90 degrees over to the left, but interesting. Son of a bitch. This is really really strange like I what am I missing I know that's there Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The fuck? Yeah. It, I don't know if this is a glitch or something. Like, I'm supposed to get in there and hit that. Without a doubt in my mind. But it's another puzzle for another day, effectively. Go 
with that portrait. I already checked him. Those boxes. I can't throw the penguin at the button inside. Yeah, for real. I'm trying to figure out which key it's missing. Oh, the X key, I see. Like a, not like a button key, but like actual E key. Wait, hello? Why can't I just take this one? The keyboard right there. I'll just fucking rip it off of here. Put it in there. Problem fucking solved. Read that. And then you would think that if anything, you'd use the crowbar around here. If not right here. Like it's locked, but I have a fucking crowbar. Bash this fuck open. It doesn't do it. Are you stuck? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, screw barred off that damn desk. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing else in this one either. Chandelier's not at uh, the the fucking hat rack. Tipped over. I just come on, let me take it. The fucking X key off and just push it off. What else can I possibly do? I didn't anticipate to actually get stuck this far in, like, not even this far in, it's not even that far in. Like, getting stuck on a demo, I didn't, I did not see that coming. What if I go really low with the crowbar? Really? What the fucking key? Uh, I am completely stumped. You would think this is the one. See, and it, and it looks over. It's so weird. Oh, wait. Olivia's room may have been the key card that we had for 203. I never went back in there. There's the, the crowbars for this fucking door. Oh, my God. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Okay. I figured it out. That just took me a second. I didn't realize this is Olivia's room. Oh, there's the picture of that uh, puzzle. Do they have to the photograph? Could this be Olivia? Maybe. That fucking noise, though. Close to God here. Uh. 
That's it, eh? Hey. Fuck. Over here. I forgot it was in the room. Photo has been restored. What just happened? Could this be her husband? Ah, uh, these dog tags must have been close to Olivia's heart. A memento of a faraway war. 1976, James Army Service numbers. James Joseph Quinn, blood type A positive. Religion, Catholic. Okay. Okay. Play out of the room area. What's up with the one that has an eye on it in 501? Interesting. Vacuuming to do. What's this? Time capsule. Oh. Go right here. Dun, 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 dun. Hell yeah. And we oh. Personal service pistol added to equipment. Where's my fucking pistol? God damn it. Dear diary, I don't even know where to begin. The last few months have been so dark. Like I'm stuck at the bottom of a pit, and every time I try climbing out, I just sink lower. I feel like a shadow of myself. I miss James so much. Being apart from him physically hurts. I lie awake at night, playing our last moments together, before he shipped off. I'm terrified each day may be the one I get news he's gone forever. This war has ruined us. Working at the hotel is unbearable now. The manager is a bully who threatens to fire me if I say anything about the bizarre stuff happening around here lately. The guests are so rude and demanding too. I hate every minute wandering these halls now. It's like the life has been sucked out of this place. And get this, there's some creepy guy in glasses who keeps popping up wherever I'm working. He just stares and lurks in corners. It's the most unnerving thing. I don't know what he wants, but he's bad news. I can just feel it. That's the doctor. I know he's constantly in the lobby sitting on the couch by the ballroom next to the picture of a young girl. This guy freaks me out. Oh, so that's the ballroom. Okay. Light just fucking changed in here. All this shit. What, what do I have though? I get into the ballroom that way. The ballroom seems to be a place of interest. I'd better head there now. Find the ballroom. We going. Got ah! <laughs> twenty-two shots. What? What? That floor just collapsed. Yeah, thanks, Meg. 
Yo, Dash of Gold, what's up? Welcome in, friend. How you been? Uh, what's not good is gravity. That was bad. The ballroom seems to be a place of interest. I'd better head there now. Okay, so I'm not gonna go that way. How are things with you, gold? Maybe there's a way I can get back down from up here? I shoot the glass in here? Did nothing. Fuck. Fuck. I'm trying to get the door. Not bad. Saw Folly with the band from the Tony Hawk soundtrack last week. Ooh. That's cool. They put on a good show. I'm going to the, uh, well, as long as this incoming hurricane doesn't wipe us off the fucking map, uh, I'm going to be going out to Worcester for, uh, the New England Metal and Hardcore Festival. There's two set machines and definitely some amazing Scott core. Oh. I've not heard of that. I forgot. I'm not dead. I'm at 40 health. Survived that time. Yeah, hell yeah, Dash. What the fuck? Is this all in my head? I don't know, but that fucking hurt. The Cecil Hotel has a reputation for darkness, John. Who the fuck are you? Good luck. <laughs> Ooh. How do you like my new creation, John? You're so natural, my opinion. God, I had two shots left. What the? F Just I need to get out of here. A key. Health injection. All right, really quick. Can I just use that now? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, both of them. <clears throat> oh, Suicide Solid Tendencies announced their anniversary tour? Sick. You didn't like that TV at all. No, he did not. Most certainly did not. Oh! I was like, what the hell did I just find? Yeah. I think that wasn't a rent -a center model. Oh, here's an actual door to get out. What the fuck? Where does this come out to? Where am I? Also, a nice bronze line. I gotta put that in my backpack and get out of here. Okay. What are these? Look like fucking sigils or tombstones or something. Okay, good. I'm like, brother, what? Oh! 
Room zero. Nice, we made it out. Good. I saw a DRI played recently too. Ooh. That was an old TP. Hell yeah. This is getting very creepy. Oh, you're telling me. <gasps> oh. That's where they cut it off. Damn. Okay. I'm intrigued. John arrived with Sarah at the ominously looming C Cecil Hotel, eager to explore its dark secrets and disturbing history. After settling into their dimly lit room, Sarah vanished without a trace, prompting John to frantically search every inch of the sinister hotel. He soon realized that Cecil was gripped by a malevolent presence that twisted Dr. Zimmers in his evil experiments on innocent souls. As John navigated the narrow halls, Throughout that silly importance, he uncovered the tragic fates of those who came before him. In the room of the grieving housekeeper, Olivia Quinn, John restored the correct photo photograph that transferred back in time. He witnessed Olivia's kindness as before it was corrupted by the sinister doctor. With guidance from his own childhood spirit, John performed cleansing rituals to help torrent a ghost to find peace. He offered clues about Dr. Zimmer's terrible deeds in return. Beyond some clues and disturbing views, visions, John peeled back the layers of the Cecil's sordid history and the events that opened its doors to depraved forces, alter San Zimmer's motives, and save his beloved Sarah. Okay. Have any demo wrecks? I mean, this one was good. Is it just gonna close? Doing. Ah, okay. That's that. Um, well. Uh, yeah. Ah, oh, so that was Cecil. No, so it's only via keys. They gave out keys for this demo, which was it's super not typical. So it's like not on Steam, Mitch.io, nowhere. Um, however, I do have a key to give away. So I'm gonna launch up King of the Pit one more time. Actually, let me see if I can do a full screen of this. King of the pit. Don't window it. Word, that's awesome. Was that the end? Yeah, that's the end of the demo. Um, so, uh, we're going to start this off. So, King of the pit, essentially, you're going to see in chat, um, when it's time to enter, you just do exclamation point dance, and it'll tell you that as well in the automated messages. Um, that'll get you into the mosh pit. Uh, when the pit starts and they're dancing around, you can do exclamation point bottle to throw a bottle from the crowd into the pit to try to hit one of the other dancers. And the last dancer standing wins the last Cecil Hotel key. Ads? All right, we'll wait. We'll wait for them to get back from ads. <clears throat> but yeah, if you're just getting here or if you've uh, been lurking a bit, uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway shortly. We're waiting for the ads to end. Uh, this is for the free uh, game key of the uh, Cecil the Journey Begins uh, demo. You cannot get this demo anywhere else. Must have a key to play it. And uh, we had two to give out. Baked Potato won the first one, and uh, we're going to find out who's going to win the second one here. Once the ads are over. I hate when... I got to get some way, another screen. I don't know if I need necessarily need another monitor. But another screen just to show me, like, here. Here's when the ads are going to be running, and I can just try to dismiss them when I can. Or, like, not dismiss them, but push them off. Um... And back. All right, good. Perfect. So, uh, so I was just explaining that I'm going to give away a copy of this game. Uh, it's a, the last key that I have. All you have to worry about is just doing exclamation point dance when it tells you to do so. Um, and it'll enter you in. Exclamation bottle during the mosh pit to throw bottles into the pit. 
Last one standing wins the key. And that's all there is to it. So uh, let's start this up. There it is. Registration is now open. You can type exclamation point dance to enter. And then do exclamation point bottle to throw bottles when it goes on. No, it, this is random. It's just um it's uh it's just goofy. So yeah, for uh, for those of uh, just popping in, you want a free game, you cannot get this game anywhere else except for a key. Uh go ahead and do exclamation point dance. We've got four people. We got Dash of Gold, we got Kinseal, we got Res to Pieces and Sugar Hypes. We got four metal heads in there. There's 16 more of you. Where are the rest of you? Well, once one, that's true. 50 seconds. We're going to have more than four people in here. This is a free game. Yes, free. F R E E. All you got to do is punch the code into Steam and it gives, it gives you the game. There's Twy. We got five. That's your link to Folly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Come on. We got this. This is going to be good. It's going to be good. I spam music, Rex. Oh, yeah. That's completely fine by me. 10 seconds. Except for a game just got in. I need to free up space. Tree's in. Tree's in at the last second. Let's go. Welcome in, Tree. And here we go. The fight is on. Toss your bottles. There's a lot of, lot of fisticuffs in there. Oh, two's down. Three down. It's gold or twice. Oh, Dash of Gold wins. The fellow CEO of Scream pulls it off in the end. Poor Twy was runner up both games. No. <laughs> Damn, Twy. <laughs> You men are evil. <laughs> what did I do? You bottled me first. That is cruel. <laughs> I didn't bottle anybody. I didn't type any of that in. That was everyone else. Okay, so let me go do this. Dash, my friend. That game key is for you. Okay. You meant them? Okay. <laughs> got it, got it. So, we're th through with the Cecil. We're through with the giveaways. So, we got some more demos to play. Um, I'd like to try Sniper Killer first, because I know that it's a, uh, a puppet combo game, or puppet combo, Torture Star, one or the other. Uh, come on. And this is going to be this, this, Sniper Killer. Legit had no idea you could bottle, never saw the bottles. They do the little green ones that go flying in. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> I'm going to launch this game up and get the uh, get everything rolling on it. Then we'll jump over. Don't go anywhere. Uh. Torture Star. See, I knew. This is a Torture Star game. Which is like a subsidiary of Papa Combo. I got an interview tomorrow. I'm gonna go to bed at Let's Game soon. Dude, absolutely, dude. Have a fantastic evening. Hopefully, your work day tomorrow isn't too bad. Or an interview tomorrow, if it is. You'll kick ass in it. This is so fucking loud in my ear. Give me one second, everybody. Okay, that's better.
Welcome, man. You'll, yeah, you'll smash it. All right, so let me get all the lovely captures going. Okay, perfect. All right, ready for a music switch up? Here we go. Fuck yeah. The Torture Star slash Puppet Combo games always have fucking awesome music for their games. So yeah, this is Sniper Killer Demo. Um, I've been told by both Cornhusk Show and the Alley G Show that this is the this is a really good fucking demo and to be excited for this game and uh i've been holding off on it i'm not gonna lie but we're here to play it let's do it well this is the address 40 dollar cash up front take elevator please models wanted Do I click here? I'm very confused. Says to take the elevator. What did I just press? Guess there has to be one around here somewhere. I can't it's believe e. I'm okay. doing this. No, my foot pedal is I already I already unplugged it. I did it <laughs> during the last game. But good call, Fry. It happens to be E. I definitely pressed E before, but here we are. How desperate can you get? There's no way that's an elevator. God, that's a fucking elevator. What in the fuck? I'm sorry. You couldn't pay me enough money to get into this elevator. And it's going down. This is some hostile level shit. go. Guess it fixed itself. Okay. Photos. Oh. On the right spot. Hey, what's the password? Hello? Anybody home? I saw an ad for Models Wanted. Is anyone here? Bye. Guten Tag. Thank God I was looking at Smile and not that. That would have scared the shit out of me. Yes, yes. <laughs> you would be perfect. Follow me, my dear. Great. A lot shorter than I thought. Hello, Miss. Uh, Miss. Uh, Pamela, and your name? Ah, a lovely name. I am Hans, but Miss Pamela, names matter little here. No, no, you and I are about to make history. This will be the greatest photo shoot the free world has ever seen. That's. 
great. And that's only worth $40. Point. <laughs> Miss Pamela, one must not put a price on the changing of a world. Right, of course. But you did for $40. Okay, then. Uh, where do you want me? Definitely not a creep. Yeah. Inside the What's closet lie time? the tools for the building of Welcome a new society. Bud. My uh, what now? The clothes for the photo shoot. <laughs> this is Dexter's laboratory gone bad. Please put them on and then meet me out here and we shall begin. Soon, no one will remember my name as Frankenstein, and will soon know me as Hans Photostein. Well, this isn't good. And hopefully forget about the criminal charges. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. Thanks, fucking Quasimodo-looking motherfucker. Hang in there. No. Oh. Ellie's. Uh -huh. Okay. Hey, uh, Hans. Yes, yes, my dear. Which one of these dresses did you want me to wear? Dress. Dress. <laughs> no, no, my sidekick. No dress. Plastic tarp for the blood. Yeah. The pillow. Put the pillow underneath your shirt. Uh, okay. Weirdest photo I've ever made. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Please, my dear, make your way to the set. Just follow my instructions and we shall be famous. Now, uh, make your way to the washer and pose for me. The washer. Look straight into the camera. Stare into it as you are staring straight into the eyes of your great school bully who has just taken your last nougat bar and tell him um, to, uh, to, um, uh, to, to, uh, to go yodel his mother. Rude. He was making fetish art. I mean, I would assume so at this point. Ugh. Excellent. Now, uh, now go over to the couch and look at it with the remorse you would feel if you, uh, if you had created a monster made from corpses and given it life, inadvertently causing it to destroy our whole village and cause you to flee forever from your homeland. <clears throat> yeah, do that. Right on it. Are you going to take the picture or what? Oops. Yeah, yeah! Okay, now the moment of truth. Halt! Someone is at the door. Don't lose your energy. <laughs> I shall return. I didn't hear the door knock. Who's there? That's not good. Hans, is that you? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Last time for the blood. Dude was making fetish art. Right? Yeah. I need to put old Bessie back where she belongs. Oh, that's us. Uh, 
where do I put old Bessie? I don't like going back there anymore. Why is that? Yeah, exactly. Mirrors make him nervous, okay. Maybe the pillow barely saved her life. No, 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 no. This is, um... I think we're the... I think we're the, uh... The guy that came in and shot the girl. Where else would we get this door? I'm sorry. Uh, gun. Lost the key a while ago. Okay. Well, then it's definitely not going to go in there where it belongs. Basement. It's to a basement. The strange thing is I don't recall having a basement. Can we think of a different place headquarters station to be at? I get them mixed up. Doors won't budge either. What the fuck was that? Oh, oh, got you one time. Okay. No, nah, that's an interesting take. Alright, so let's go back inside. Has to go somewhere else. Naturally. Microwave. Mom always worried about cancer, but in my line of work, I'd be lucky to go that way. Pull up here in the wall. Kind of strange. The draft, I can't see the other side, which should be impossible. Oh, of course the gun goes there. That makes sense. Okay, now what? Casserole. I lost my appetite. It doesn't smell right. Of course not. It's been sitting out, you dingus. Top secret files. Cool. Hey, it's Jeff. You know, from the factory. Yeah. Hey, I heard that you quit last week. Hope you're doing okay. Doing splendid. I kind of miss you now, but it's just me and the lemon cats. Well, give me a call soon, man. Maybe we can get you a drink and watch the game sometime. Hope you're doing well. I'll see ya. Jeff, the knowing bastard I met while undercover for a mission. How did he track down my number? Perhaps he's as innocent and oblivious as I suspected. Front row. Oh yeah, the folder. Our most recent mission. Headquarters needs to send me on another soon. I really feel like I'll go crazy in this shithole they have me stationed in. If I can't look at it. Oh. Damn. That's locked. And more outside that I may have just not clicked on. I got everything. I didn't know if there was going to be some more. Whoops. I'll see ya. Okay. Way towards the fun side carnival. Got it. You will receive further information upon your arrival. Just fucking got home. I wanted to eat. Let's go. This job, I tell ya. Sniper killer, Cascade say. Fa 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 better run 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 away good call your mission is to find a vantage point over the carnival take out the person wearing the werewolf costume use this okay Look out, tower. Agent, your target 
is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Much like the spy you had to intercept last week, they are responsible for the deaths of many innocents. Avenge innocents and protect our national security. We will allow no other casualties. Is that not his head? Got him. Got him. Furry hunting. Oh, God. I had to turn it down. Those... So what's the plan, boss? Here. This doesn't feel like a homework assignment. You gonna fill me in on why two journalism students are at a murder scene on a school night? Just do what you're paid to do, Clyde. Yeah. But I get paid nothing. Right. So do nothing and stay quiet. Come on, Gail. From a somewhat friendly acquaintance to a somewhat friendly acquaintance. Why are we here? <sighs> ah. Is this about Pamela? Yeah. I don't understand. You think this is related? She was right. I don't know anything, Clyde. That's why we're here, to ask around, see what exactly happened. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope I'm wrong, but I don't think Pamela was the last victim of this psychopath. <sighs> All right, fine. Snoop around. I'll get some shots of the Ferris wheel or something. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Clyde. I really do appreciate you coming with me. Okay. Whoa, sorry, kid. There's sort of a murder investigation going on right now. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to get on the rides. I'm not a... Look, officer, who's in charge here? Dang, there's no chance for the bulletproof pillow. <laughs> Why are you asking? I think I might have some important information. Oh yeah? I doubt that. But like if you, I don't give a shit. So go on in. <laughs> Look for a fat guy with a cigar. That's Detective Dutch. <laughs> oh boy. That guy with the cigar, huh? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, are you the fat guy with the cigar? Who the hell let you in? You're a diligent officer up front. Who are you? My name's Gail. I'm a journalism student at... <laughs> Great. A thorn in training. Look, I had a friend. She was murdered last week. A model. Her name was Pam. She was shot in the face. Ring a bell? Yeah, I was at the scene. So then you don't need me to tell you that this is pretty similar, no? The only similarities were they were both shot, miss. Actually, this is very different. What? Your friend, I'm sorry to say, it was shot point blank. This guy was taken out clear across the carnival. Same caliber of bullet? Eh, maybe. It's a common one found in rifles. Wait, Pam was a werewolf? No. <laughs> Detective, I think there's a killer on the loose, and I doubt this is the last we'll see of him. How does she know the caliber? I guess she's... Well, I mean, I guess if you... If they give information out from the first one, maybe, I guess we're assuming that. You can't just go around saying that. 
I mean, hell, we just wrapped up the Womb Ripper killings, and now you're saying that some maniac is running around the city with a rifle shooting random people. Yes. Murder just fucking happened. I don't mean this one. We mean the one with Pamela, the intro of the game. That was supposed to be a week ago. Because it would be random, wouldn't it? Did your friend and this Mr. Richard Sanchez lying next to me have anything in common? Not that I'm aware of. That's yeah, a good point. I mean, I don't know one time. Maybe she knows calibers and what the different caliber bullets, what they do to human faces. I don't know. God, shoot Gail. <laughs> no serial killer. End of story. <laughs> Unless you can find me proof otherwise. Now beat it. Go chase a story more on your level. Like why my asshole itches on Thursday nights. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Can't talk to either of you. Can I talk to the other cop down here? What you trying to talk to me for? The guy in charge is over there. I'm just here to collect my overtime. Fair enough. I should examine the corpse. Excuse me. Jesus, poor guy. Thank you one time. Can't talk to them. Can I talk to you? Big Mo don't like this one bit. Cops crawling all over my business like ants to a goddamn picnic? <laughs> Looks like I need to ditch the carnival game. Find something more peaceful like a strip club or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's got it all figured out. Thanks, Frank. I uh, hope these cops let us go soon. Like I told them, I, I didn't see a land blubbing thing. I really need to get back to my boat. Skipper will kill me if I don't scrub. I, I mean, if I get back to it and my cabin boy hasn't scrubbed the poop deck, I'll throttle him, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I I'm a captain, you know. Huh? Sniper killer? You mean the guy behind these murders? East 7th Street, 2 a.m. Tonight. What do you know? We will see you then, Miss Jenkins. Yikes. You been banished to the ad zone? Damn it. Definitely onto something here. Let us see what this person knows. I'll either do it for Pam. I... Uh, excuse me, miss. Yeah? The name's Comedy. Detective Comedy. Yo, what up, dog? I overheard your conversation with my colleague back there. I'm intrigued. Here's my card. Why are you telling me this? I doubt anything we say will keep you away. So, might as well keep in contact with you. If you really do end up finding anything you think we should know about... Don't hesitate to call us. All right, I will. Thanks, detective. Mm, so he's the good, that's good cop. The other one was bad cop. Got it. See ya. Fuck you too. Well, looks like you didn't get arrested, so that's good. Thanks, Clyde. Hey, you look like you've just seen a ghost. What's up? Are you up for a little ride? Well, considering you're in my van, yeah, I guess so. Good. I think I might have our first lead. Oh boy. So this is where they told you to meet them? Yeah. Seems suspect to me. <laughs> well, what else am I supposed to do? 
Not let strange people lure you to a perfect place to be murdered? Go shoot some footage or something. I'll give them ten minutes. If no one shows up, we leave. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Why is it always so foggy in the city? Yeah, where are they in Tarkov? Clyde's gonna fucking die. Thousand percent he's dead. So who do you think this killer is, anyway? What do you mean? Like, what's his deal? Shooting people for no reason? I wonder what his origin story is. Jesus, Clyde. He's not a comic book character. <laughs> like, maybe he's an ex-marine who snapped. Or maybe a hunter who got tired of hunting animals and has turned to... I'm done with this conversation. It's always when you're missing people in this city. Gale, behind you! <laughs> Got you good. You jumpy. Hilarious. When your journalism career fails, you should take up comedy. <laughs> what was that noise? I can't go any further than that. Can't go any further than that. Okay. Go down here. Crimes against pizza men up 35% from last year. Interesting. Can't go any further than that. Further than that. That's it. Can't talk to you anymore. Hello? Someone there? <laughs> Welcome back one time. Hey, Gail. You have a handkerchief. Mind wiping this smudge off my lens? Sure, I got it. Fucking go to the box. Can I go further down to the subway. That sniper sucks. I can't open that. Fuck. Shit. All right, that makes sense now. Buy a ticket, yeah. Following me? Fuck. Well. Gail and her buddy Clyde are now dead. Get rip, yeah, exactly. Rest in piss. Rest in poops. Any minute now. 
Here it is. He got called. Got lucky as hell. I need to find a phone and call the police. They take forever to respond to anything in this city. I'll call that Detective Camardi. I still have his card. He seemed really serious. Oh. Thank God I fucking turned, but that still scared the fuck out of me. Oh. Holy shit. Come on, come on. Did I we Junkie Boy? I just wasn't ready. Detective Camardi? Who is this? The killer, he's here with me. I'm on East 7th on the subway platform. You good? I'm good. That was just scary. Oh, so like a way. See you soon, girl. You won't be able to help me? He's out calling that crack rock. Oh no. My man's fucked up. Fuck. Feeling lightheaded. That was a close call. Poor Clyde. I need to sit down and think this through. No, 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 no. We're gonna keep pacing. Uh oh, indeed, one time. Fuck. Holy shit. Yo. I'm excited for the full game of that. Frank the hot dog guy. That was intense. Yeah, that was just a demo. Oh. I wanted to hear more of that credit song, but... Yeah, so that's Sniper Killer. Uh, the demo, that is. Looking forward to see more of that. In the uh, hopefully not too near future. Alright, now... Which other ones in here jumped out to me? Ah, uh, yes, Ghost at Dawn demo. I've seen a lot of Ghost at Dawn talk on Twitter. Um, I, follow the, I follow their official page, too. Very completely different uh, animation style, too, with this one. I'm going to get this switched up real quick. Don't tell me it just fucking crashed. I think it did. <laughs> oh, it kicked back in. We're good. Just, uh, I'm waiting for it to show up so I can check the options and all that.
All right, let's, uh, I'm going through everything as quickly as I can. I don't know what stream remote is, but I turned it on. Okay. Fucking audacity. Yeah. Let us switch up. Post it on demo. Stream mode is probably for avoiding copyright. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. There might be some songs in here that are give me some DMCA yuck yucks. It should work now. Please capture the screen. Doesn't want to do it today. <sighs> okay. Do uh properties. Any full screen? Come on. Ah. Uh. All right, I think we have to just uh, share the whole display then. Okay, Ghost at Dawn. I'm gonna try to start this because it is fucking bright. Uh, I only have one difficulty apparently. Nineteen forty-seven. To Mr. Ben O'Hara, P.I. It is my understanding that you do not meet with prospective clients face-to-face -face until terms are agreed upon. Surely, this is for the same reason why you use an Irish-sounding moniker rather than your given name, Benjido O'Hara. Don't worry, your secret is safe with me. It is such a shame that a man who served his adopted country honorably fighting that madman in Germany must still fear anti-Japanese resentment when he returns home. This is precisely why I write to you. My sister is missing, and no policeman or private eye in all of Seattle seems to be concerned about a missing Jap girl with no papers. You could not imagine my relief when I heard tell of a Japanese-American private investigator right here in the city. I beg you, take my case. Find my sister, my Emmy. She was supposed to arrive last month from Japan. Our parents finally saved enough to send her to live with me here in Seattle. I was to pick her up at a remote hotel resort not too far from the port called the Pines. When I arrived, I was shocked to see the place boarded up. I'm told they had many Japanese on staff working off their travel costs. But Emmy's travel expenses were covered in full, and she should have been waiting there for me. Perhaps you could find some record of her there. Please, I've nowhere else to turn to. Find my Emmy. Sincerely, Yuhiko Kusuke. All right. Begins an investigation in the lobby. Second hotel we've been... Oh, tank controls. <laughs> Hello, Candy. How is your ramen? Very good. Oh, good. I'll have to find another way in. Ah.
I call the dumbwaiter to this floor? Uh, yes. <laughs> Loud as fuck. Oh. So you could put stuff in the dumb way to the transfer them. It's too big. That's interesting. I like that concept. All right. Cool. I did finish Cecil. Yes. We also just did um, Psycho Killer demo. It was pretty quick by comparison, but it was very good. Oh, it doesn't have to have, doesn't have power. But the lines are dead. Another staff one. Ah, <sighs> of course. Didn't expect these to be so short. Yeah, it's just a demo for now. We'll see what happens. A hey, key. Should I take this? Of course. Yes. Yes, Ledger, no record of an Emmy. Okay. One oh four. Okay. Ah, still demo card. Yeah. There's the disconnected man right there. What's up, my guy? Ah. Get the lobby, the office, the elevators, courtyard, the Black Rose restaurant, kitchen, wash closet, and the resident lounge, wash closet backstage. Cool. There's the dumb waiter again. Kills fascist dead. Uses. 0.45 ACP rounds. Benzos docks say they help with the shell shock. Heater room 104. Disconnected. How are we tonight? Nice floor plans. <laughs> Wait, can I take this elevator? Does this one happen to have power? No. Okay. Check the other side. Okay. Now we go upstairs. Oh shit, just came only the Black Queen remains. Christ, one of the staff hanging himself. Wait, what's that in his hand? Night. No. Oh, okay. Better, but not 100%. I appreciate the progress. Hope to get. Hope you're out of the uh, woods out of that as quick as you can. Okay, so first floor, 104 is at the end. Got it. I look like hell. When was the last time I slept? I feel.
feel that. Did I take this a cigarette? Yeah. Skobolus, Greek, I think the hotel owner sure has strange tastes. One, yeah. Someone's blocking the door on the other side. Well, that's obnoxious. One hundred two is unlocked, apparently. Understood. Incense can ward off evil spirits. I could light this with a match. Well, if I had one. Maybe a quick smoke would calm me nervous a bit. Did something just move behind me? Two Mrs. Fitzgerald. Trudy, listen, honey. I know you're mad, but this is overblown. You are not leaving me. <clears throat> Perhaps you've forgotten the vows you made before God? Before God? I booked the room next door. I'm leaving the key here on the desk. Come over. I like those fancy candles you like and make it real romantic. We can discuss our future together. With love and commitment, Vance Fitzgerald, your husband. Good Lord. Key right there. Probably... Yeah, 103. Last, yes, luggage is still here. Fuck. The dead woman stopped in here. It's not Emmy. Well, fuck. To go check 103 where he's probably is dead. Yikes. Oh, matches. Nice. What's in the rest of this room here? Nothing useful for this case. That filthy whore thinks she can just leave me? Dumb bitch doesn't even know I work this hotel. Unbelievable. She'll get what's coming to her. Right out loud, bud. Ammunition? Yeah, what the fuck not? There's more matches. What's that? Fucking walk my way over here. Hello? 
Let's see anything else I need. Brother, something needed you for a second there. What the fuck was that? Was fucked. All right. Well, time to light the incense. The fuck does that do? Nope, it still doesn't work. We know if I have matches though. Come on. What the fuck was that? Don't let your fear overtake you. Oh boy. Oh, six key. All right, really quick, I'm just going to get another match going. Smoke that cigarette, chill out. Now... Myself to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These spirits are unlike anything I've dealt with. Those noodles were yummy. They somehow become the noodles. They can interact with the material world and even bring harm to the living. But I suspect they can be harmed. Will Christian ritual prove useful here? Or is this a matter to be solved with bullets? Well, got our fucking answer. Oh, 
I'm done being in there, that's for sure. Oh, well, yeah, I know how to reload it now. Time to hit up 106. Oh my god, what the fuck? <sighs> Jesus. I have to go up the other elevator. First, what the fuck was- can I go in here? I will pay attention to my mental state. Stay out. Just like that. Piece of cake. What do you got here? Take this, yeah, this is for seven. I don't know what that's for, but it's something important. Kent, I think I left a key to the electrical room in 105 when I was working on the outage. But now I can't find the key to 105. I swear, I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. If you come across it, leave it in my locker for me, would you? Thanks, Tony. P.S. What the hell is in that box? Oh, God. What's in the box? Oh, incense. Okay. I have 106 and... Row six and apparently that's a one. Okay. The fuck? Do I have again? Six. This is going swimmingly. Big more matches, thank you. Hey there, hon. We just got a quality shipment in. You want a fresh taste? You know where to find me. Donna. Why, thank you, Donna. This is Rising Sun Lounge. That's big. Film production checklist appears they were shooting erotica. I hope this has nothing to do with the Emmy. Oh boy. Yeah, I was gonna say, take that cigarette. When I teddy bear, where have I seen this before? S plate. So what's next? What do we have here? I'm gonna go back.
Donna King. Oh, so Donna, Donna King sings at the lounge here. Or she did. Alright, now where are those lockers again? They're on back somewhere. Back over on this side. Do not. <laughs> fucking shit, dude. The game just fucking crashed. Oh god. It didn't crash, it just... Oh, that's cool. You've joined them. Patient while I give you another chance to die. <laughs> Try that again. There it is. What did that say? Oh, try again, I think it said. Probably in here. Right there. This is to room 105, as expected. Go check 105 before we do Rising Sun Lounge. Good show, good shoe. <laughs> Holy fuck. Is that electric room? Yeah, I think it is electric room. Lone case, there's no latch or keyhole. This might... Weird and weird. Oh, fuck. What's the point of that box? All right. Let's go around. All right. Woo! Looks like these switches control power to the two elevators. If you're burnt out, now the elevator has power. Oh, 
Not the corpse, what the hell happened here? Ooh. Bolt cutters. Now we can actually get into that spot because it also had felt shamed up back on it. Okay. Rising Sun Lounge. Yep. All right, all right, all right. That was not the time. Smoke that cigarette. There we go. Fucking shots left. going here when ah! I find more ammo behind the counter at a bar That booze. Some of the good stuff should cool me off. Hell yeah, brother. Old coffee, don't want to sober up yet anyway. Bolts growing in the pots. Uh, take the knife, I guess. His head clean off. Hell yeah, they did. room for that ah. 
Oh, fuck. The fuck, I don't have room for that. That sucks. I was gonna see if I could sneak past him with the light. Rumchi. That wasn't good. Patient while I give you another chance to. Here we are again. Don't let the candle burn out. Fucking bullets, and I can't melee these assholes. Maybe there'll be magical ammunition in here. Or a cigarette. Christ, he's young. Well, was. We gone insane. I don't think so. Ladies and Hurricane Marling not looking good. Shit. Oh, no good. Polish was telling me that the, the chance of rain was dropping. Oh no. I don't know what to think. Mm. Oh, excuse me.
uh, put the blood in there. The model came out around midnight. Looks like it could come right over us Saturday morning. Ugh. God, that fucking sucks. A lot of trees in my neighborhood. Yeah. Did a lot of mine, but a lot of them have been taken out over the past few years, which is good. Please be enough. <coughs> A lot of windows too, yeah. That blows. I still have to figure out how to get in there. <sighs> Questions. <laughs> what the hell happened here? power. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we gotta figure out another way to get this door open. Is there another Rising Sun Lounge? Door? I ain't finding one if there is. I'm back. Hi, hey, Cynthia. Welcome back. I'll be doing swell. Only three out of five candles are lit. Ah, so that's how many lives you get. Of flower jugs. Thank you. We need to go to sleep. See you later. Brian, thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you have a lovely evening sleep. And I hope you have an even better Wednesday. Just about halfway there. Yeah, this is the night, bitch. Cynthia. Thank you so much for those biddies. Actually, hold on, holding. 
Yeah, it's a juggernaut, bitch! Another 40? Thank you, Cynthia. It's very, very generous of you. Thank you. Take all my biddies. None of those are gonna work. Uh, M Mr. Wallets, Mr. Fitzgerald has requested a key to his wife's room. Uh, he's already returned it, and I put it back on the key rack. Just thought I should let you know oh. since that exorcist priest, the boss hired, has, has a lot of the first floor keys. Kent, the bellhop. So that's where I, that's where that key was there. Okay. Excuse me. That filthy horse. Dear God. These spirits are unlike anything I've dealt with. Kent. I think I left a key to the electrical room in 105 when I was working on the outage. But now I... Hey there, hon. We just got a quality shipment in. Uh, M Mr. Wallace. Huh. Farmer spent $20 and gave you a thousand biddies. Oh, Cynthia, that's so kind of you. Thank you. You obviously do not have to do that. Stuck. This game's pretty good so far. This is the demo. Um, I'm just a little stuck at the moment because I have this key. Thanks, Anonymous. I have this key to this place over here. Rising Sun Lounge. However, this is it looks like at the front of the way in. I do have a key to it, but this board's up. I have nothing to take down boards yet. Thank you, Cynthia. You gotta stay hi 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 hold on hydrated, yes. Could not spit that word out. Thank you for the door slam. That knife. So far, it's... So far, that would not be helpful. I found nothing I need to... Cut, like, cut or twirl. Might have been me, might not have been. 
Damn it, Meg. How you doing, friend? Dodged the wrong way. Fuck. Meg, I'm doing all right. 49 days. Ooh, yeah. It's getting close. Must be pretty fucking excited. I want to be able to get this guy down. Do I have to get the knife? I think I do. Oh, it's not. Ellen likes to make everything a nightmare, kind of. Yeah, otherwise I'm doing alright. A little tired. We'll be wrapping up stream here in a little bit. I'm just, uh... Enjoy what's left of, uh, this here. Can I... I can't equip it. Okay. thinking about oh right oh okay I guess I'm smoking a cigarette I'm like, I'm not too sure what to do here. I hit the wrong button. Get it. Freaking booze for no reason. Damn it. Hey, 
Thank you for the keyboard cat, Meg. I am super confused. I have an empty gun. I've got things I can heal myself with. I've got matches. I've got a key that I can't use because of the boards. And I have a knife that... I don't know what the fuck that's used for. Yeah. Honestly, like, I, I wanted to keep playing this. I like this animation. Um, obviously, the uh, the old school stationary cameras with the tank controls. Very nostalgic. But also, it's new. Yeah, I'm just not, uh... It's not following, man. I go. I can't go out the front door. There's way I could go out back before. Oh well. Um, I am liking this demo. I think it's gonna. Uh, I'm definitely gonna come back to it and play it again. But uh, it is 1 a.m. on the dot. Unfortunately, we are out of time. Uh, I love doing these little demo nights. There's a bunch more I still gotta play, so love to do some more soon. Very soon, for that matter. Save and quit works, so that's nice. Anywho. Um, I'm being told, as of this moment, it's somebody's birthday. If Twy is... Uh, lurking, playing whatever, and happens to hear, I just wanted to wish Twy a very, very happy birthday. It is on good authority that it is your birth. You're not here, okay. I hear on good authority that it is now officially your birthday. Or Candy has just seriously trolled the bag off of me. <laughs> Either or. Not here in California. Yeah, not quite. Well, we all hope you have a fantastic day, Twy. I even asked for consent to announce. This is true. You did. You did. Um, Let's see. Oh, yeah. It's been a minute. We're going to raid one of my favorite friends on the entire platform that I've met. Heavy hand swings. He's playing Baldur's Gate 3. I feel like everyone knows what that game is. It's not a, uh, it's not a horror game, but it's a pretty solid looking game. My disappointment You're welcome, is Twy. immeasurable. Day is day ruined. Is Why is your day ruined? Been here like all stream much. Like, <laughs> thank you, Twy. I know you were. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure this is still broken. It is. Yeah, there's something going on with my stream deck. We have to go through and re recreate those buttons. Either way, I can do the raid manually to a one heavy hand swings. Um, just so you all know, we do have, um, socials up here. News? I'm sorry. Social. <laughs> uh, we have some raid messages there. 
The top one with all the emotes in it, that is the one for subscribers. Everyone else, you can use the uh, Red Raid Pickaxe one there. Uh, you can also find me on some other platforms if you're interested. On YouTube, we have our VODs uploaded, uh, completely unedited, just tossed right up. Uh, you can also find YouTube Shorts on there. If you like the shorts and the reels, but you really want some TikToks, I'm on TikTok as well. Uh, and then Twitter and Discord are my announcement areas and sharing memes and all sorts of other stuff. Obviously, uh, Discord is a much bigger, better uh, platform than Twitter ever could be. So um, if you are willing to join the Discord server, I highly recommend you join ours. Come hang with it. Be, be a part of the mob off stream. That's where they all hang out. Um, you're welcome, Candy. Yes, happy birthday again to Twy. Thank you for being here, Candy. And Meg, I hope you have a good night as well. Um, let me go ahead and pop in the raid. All right, and I've got the raid message ready to go as well. Okay, so thank you all again for hanging out. We had a great time playing some demos. Out of ball bag. That's where we're going. <laughs> we played the uh, Cecil, which is uh, or Cecil, looking really Dude, good. Save some of that meat for me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll do my best. Um, if you have that, we played the new Torture Star game uh, demo, uh, Psycho Psycho Sniper, and uh, looks real good. And then we started off with, um, well, we started off the Ghost at Dawn demo, but uh, we did not able to finish it, so we'll be we'll be checking it again. Anywho, we're gonna go right over to Heavy. Please show him some love when you get there. Uh, if you are not following him and you dig the content, please do hit the follow button. Every little bit helps. Or and I am. I'm about to go raid another friend of mine, but thank you. Um. Yeah, we're going to go head over now. I'll catch you all tomorrow for more Dead Space. Bye.